Have you heard all the buzz about selling digital products but wondered if it's really all it's cracked up to be? Or maybe you'd love to try your hand at it but worry you're not tech savvy enough to create designs that would actually sell. If so, this training's for you. If this is our first time meeting, I'm Kate, a seven-figure digital products business owner and passive income educator. And after trying digital products for myself for the first time and quickly realizing the huge potential for life-changing income it could bring in, I started coaching others on my YouTube channel with the exact strategies that had worked for me. One of the things I love most about digital products is that they can become passive, meaning that you only have to do the work to create them once, and then they can sell over and over again on autopilot. I'm a big fan of using design tools that are easy and user intuitive so that even those of us who are starting with no previous design experience can get the hang of it quickly. And that's exactly why my top pick for design software is Canva. Not only is Canva easy and quick to learn, it also has a wide range of AI tools that you can use to shortcut your process and level up your designs. In fact, just recently, Canva held their annual Canva Create event where they announced their brand new and improved Canva AI feature. Previously, Canva did have some AI tools, but they were sort of found here and there throughout the editor. You had to sort of know about them and search for them to use them. But now you can access all four main capabilities of Canva AI right from the homepage. They've included and leveled up some of the AI tools that were previously available and just made them better, but have also released some brand new features as well. So we're gonna be diving into both of those today so that by the end of this training, you'll have several different options for how you can use Canva AI to create digital products that are gonna fly off the shelves. So when you log into your Canva account from the homepage, you'll now be able to see up here at the top where it says Canva AI, or you can see it over here on the left side menu as well. Now this has recently been launched and it's still slowly rolling out to everyone. So if you don't see where it says Canva AI yet, you'll get it at some point soon. But once you see this, you'll be able to click on it and then you'll see this text box that you can type in as well as these options down here. There are different ones from design for me to create an image, to draft a doc and code for me. You can also scroll down under this section that says see what you can do with AI if you're not really sure and you just want to get some inspiration and ideas this is full of a lot of great different ideas for things you can use Canva AI to create and while there are so many different things you can use this for today we're specifically talking about how to use this to create digital products to sell so we're going to start with this first option here that says design for me when you click on that you'll see these different options pop up from social media to a presentation to marketing cards and invitations logo you can type in whatever you want here to give it the prompt for what you want it to create but these are here in case you need some help with your ideas and you can quickly and easily just click on one of these and see what other options it gives you so i clicked on cards and invitations so for this first example let's say we are a digital product seller who wants to create an invitation to sell as a template so someone could purchase this from us and bring it into canva to edit the template for themselves so i'm going to keep this on cards and invitations and then choose what format i want i've got options of card invitation or postcard this is just making clear to the AI what format and what orientation I want this design in. So I'm going to choose invitation and then I'm going to give it a prompt here by typing in exactly what type of invitation design I want. So I'm going to say a birthday party invitation for a tropical luau showing a beautiful sunset with text for name, date, location, and RSVP. So once I have my prompt in here, I'm gonna click this little arrow to generate. And it says, sure thing, I'll get started on that tropical luau birthday party invitation for you, hang tight. So now it's given me four different designs here that I can choose from. And let's say I think this is a good start, but I want these to be more in like tropical colors. I can always give it another prompt. It has ideas for me here where I can click more designs with pictures of tropical flowers with vibrant colors. So let's click the one that says with vibrant colors and see how this changes the designs. So here are new designs that it's given us four newly generated ones. And I can continue to go through and just select these different options for changing or add in a prompt of my own. So I might type in here, add in tropical flowers and pineapples, and it'll regenerate again. So here it's given me another four options and I can continue with this. Or if I find one that I like, I can simply click on it. It'll open it up here to the right. I can continue to edit this further by clicking on the color option, changing out the color scheme, or even just clicking use in the Canva editor, which will bring it into my editor and I can continue changing things out like replacing this photo, changing out the wording, and editing this to make it exactly like I want. And like I said before, I might use this as a template to sell. So if that was the case, when I have the design all ready and finished, I can click up here on the top right where it says share and choose the option that says template link, which will then generate a unique template 
template link for me to give to my customers. So that was an example of creating an invitation, but let's say we wanted to create a template set of social media posts and I could come back still under the design for me option and click social media and choose the format I want. Let's say I want to create Instagram posts. I'm going to choose that format and again, type in my prompt here. So for this one, I'm going to imagine that I'm creating a set of templates for a wedding dress business to use on their social media. My prompt might say promotional post for 20% off all wedding dresses. Design should be simple and elegant featuring a graphic of a wedding dress. Okay, let's see what it comes up with. All right, here are our four options for designs that the AI created for us. So let's say we like the layout of this one, so we can click on this, but we want to maybe change out this photo. I can simply select that photo and over to the left, it'll bring up different image ideas and I can just simply choose a new one that I like if it's suggesting one that I feel like would fit the image well, or I can switch over to uploads and upload my own file here that I wanna use. Of course, I can always edit this further like I did the other one by clicking use Canva editor. So those were all under the design for me option, but if we come over to the next one that says create an image, we can actually use this option as an image generator. So if you use Canva in the past, this is going to be similar to your magic media image generator or even dream lab. This is where we can give it a prompt to create an actual image for us using AI. And one thing we might want to use this for, for selling digital products is to create wall art prints to sell. So when you choose create an image, you're going to choose what style you want that image in. So for this one, we're going to choose vector, and then you're going to choose your aspect ratio. You've got different options for what aspect ratio you want your design to be created in. And if you're like, Kate, I have no idea about aspect ratios. How do I know which one is the right one to choose for my specific product? I've actually got something that I think is going to be super helpful for you. It's a totally free digital product starter guide that you can click the link that's shown next to this video to download. And it gives you everything you need to know to start a digital products business, everything from different tools you can use to create your designs, to information about what file types to download your designs as, to things like this, sizing and aspect ratio, which ones to use for specific different digital product types and more. So like I said, that's totally free. I think that's going to be a really helpful resource for you if you're wanting to sell digital products like this. So definitely click that link to grab your free guide. For now, I'm just going to choose this square one to one ratio and then type in my prompt. So I think I want to create a cute little cartoony wall art print for a beach house with a cute smiling pineapple wearing sunglasses. I'm going to generate that. So these are the four design options it generated for me, which are all super cute. And once I find the one I like, I can click here to edit it further, which again is going to bring it into the Canva editor. So let's say to continue editing this and creating my wall art print, I want to remove this sort of cream colored background that it automatically applied. I can then choose background remover. Now this is a Canva pro feature. So you'll only be able to use the background remover option if you have Canva pro. But if I click that, it uses its AI to automatically take out that color. Now I'm left with a completely transparent transparent background. I can change this to another color if I like by selecting from my color menu. And maybe I want to resize this pineapple, make it a little bit smaller. So I have room on here for some text. So I can resize that, relocate it where I want on the canvas. And then if I want to add some text, I can just simply come to the left, click to add a text box if I know what I want it to say. But if I don't quite know yet what I want this to say, I can use Canva's AI magic write feature, which allows me to give it a prompt and it'll help me out here. So I might say create a short, cute phrase to go along with a smiling pineapple wearing sunglasses. This is for a wall art print for a beach house. Phrase should be no longer than seven words. Of course, you can make this exactly what you want and then click generate. And here it gave me this cute little phrase that says stay cool and pineapple fresh. So if I like that, I can click to insert it into the document. So I've given it a couple different prompts here. And I think I like this one that says keep your vibe as fresh as a pineapple. So I can click to insert that. And then of course we would want to continue editing this by changing out the font. We can change the size, make it bold, change out the colors. And once we're happy with our final design, we're going to download this by clicking share download and choosing our file type, which again, if you download that free digital product starter guide, it talks all about the different file types available to you from JPG to PNG to PDF to SVG. You'll know exactly what the right file type for your specific type of digital product would be. For a wall art print, I would most likely probably go with JPG or PNG, and then I can download from there. Now I want to try my hand at one more of these images for a separate wall art print. For this one, I'm going to change my style from vector over to the smart style. And let's try this one in a three to four aspect ratio. My prompt for this one is going to be 
a donkey smiling, showing big teeth with a farmhouse bathroom in the background. Generate this. These types of cute little funny animal bathroom prints are really trendy and popular right now. So I think this could do really well as a wall art print. Now it's given me these four different options, which I think are all super cute. I can continue editing any of these further. So let's click on this one. And down here underneath the image, it says, what would you like to change? I can give it a little bit more information if there's anything specific I wanna change about this. So let's say change to black and white. And here is our black and white version of this image, which we can then click on. We can even choose to upscale the resolution or open this in our editor to continue working on this there. So those are the design for me and create an image options. Next up is draft a doc. And again, there are so many different things you can do with this. When you click on draft a doc, if you come down to this, see what you can do with AI section, it'll give you different ideas for what you can do specifically with different documents in Canva. But here next to draft a doc, if we click on type, we can choose if we want a blog post, a summary, an outline. There's lots of different types of documents we can ask it to create for us. For this one, we're going to choose a blog post because you know how important marketing is for every type of business. And so I'm assuming a lot of businesses out there will probably have blogs they may want help creating posts for. So going along with our wedding dress business from before, let's ask this to create a blog post for us with the top 10 tips for planning your wedding day. And once we click to generate this, it's going to start giving us different ideas for this specific blog post. So here's the one it generated for us. We can click to view this and it's given us this beautifully formatted full blog post with 10 different tips, everything from setting a realistic budget to choosing your venue wisely, prioritize your vendor selection. And it's even given us a little summary underneath each one. So as with the other AI tools, we can always revise this by typing in more information here or click use in the Canva editor. And then everything here is going to be editable from the way this looks with the background colors to being able to change the way things are worded, changing out the graphics. You can really make this look exactly like you want before finishing it. Another thing I think might be really useful for this draft a doc section for businesses is to use it to help create captions for social media. If you're anything like me, you probably know how it feels to get kind of burnt out and not really know what to say in your captions, but this is gonna make it super easy to generate these types of captions really quickly. So I'm gonna choose caption here and sticking with our wedding dress business, I'm gonna ask it to create a promotional post for a wedding dress business offering 20% off all wedding dresses. And I'm gonna also give it an extra little bit here that says the wording should be fun, relatable and friendly. Let's generate that. And here is our caption. It says, OMG, brides to be, your dream dress just got 20% closer. We're having a huge sale on all wedding dresses. Yes, you read that right. Every single stunning gown is now 20% off and it continues to go on with all the information, even including hashtags here at the bottom. So again, you can use this as is or continue to edit this and revise it here with Canva AI or click to use in the editor. All right, so we've done these first three, but this last one might just be the most powerful and ground breaking tool that Canva just released and this is the option to code for me. My guess is that most of us here don't know how to code and are maybe a little bit intimidated at the thought of having to learn how to code to create things for our website and the good news is now you can create code within Canva for a lot of different things without having to ever learn anything about coding. So if we just click code for me then we've got some suggestions here for things that we can actually create real code for like create a pricing calculator for my services, a historical timeline, an interactive menu, a flashcard game, a countdown timer, a birthday card that explodes confetti. There's just so many different fun interactive things you can create with this type of coding. You can also click up here where it has some more ideas like grocery list builder, interactive certificate, biology quiz, or you can just type in exactly what you want. So for our example today, I'm going to stick with this idea of a flashcard game. So when I click this, it automatically goes ahead and puts a prompt in here, which I can then change or edit however I want. But this I think sounds really good if you're someone like me that doesn't know a lot about coding or even what to give it as a prompt. It says create an interactive flashcard game for vocabulary learning. Start with an example Spanish language set featuring five common greetings clean flip animations and progress tracking. As a follow-up, ask me about subject and language to study, specific terms and definitions to include, visual style preferences, 
additional features, scoring hints, etc. So let's just stick with this and go with an idea of maybe we're offering a course that we would want to include this type of interactive flashcard game with, or maybe we could sell this game as its own digital product. Either way, we can generate this and it's gonna start actually creating the exact code here on the right. We can see it's happening right in front of us. The code is being generated and this is gonna take a minute to generate the whole code. But once it does, then it will show us exactly what our creation looks like here on the right. So here are our Spanish greeting flashcards. We can click on this and we can see how it's interactive. It gives us the English on the back and then we can choose to score ourselves. Did we know this well? We somewhat knew it, we knew it well. And as I score myself on this, it's giving me a score up here based on how well I did. I can click next or previous and continue using these flashcards until I get all the way through them. Now, of course, I could revise this over here on the left. I could say, change this to study the French language instead and add a 30 second countdown timer for each flashcard. Then it will regenerate that code for me, incorporating these new changes, as I can see it doing here on the right. And while that's generating, I can see what it's asking me again here to customize it even more on the left. It's saying, would you like to customize the French vocabulary terms or adjust the timer duration. I could also add sound effects or change the color scheme if you prefer. So you can really ask it whatever you want to customize this to make it your own. So here is our version number two, French greetings. We've got our French here on the front, our English on the back. It looks pretty much the same except for that it's now reflecting French instead of Spanish. And we can see here our time remaining. We've got 16 seconds, 15 seconds. It's counting down from 30. So once we have this exactly the way we want it, we can choose use this in a design. This brings us into the editor where we have the option to publish this to a website. So when we click publish to website, we can choose to either enter a website URL for using a free Canva website. So for this, I could say, for instance, my French, study cards, and then that's gonna be .my.canva.site. That's how I know it's one of our free Canva websites. Or if I have my own custom domain, I can click here where it says use custom domain. I can choose to bring in and connect my own domain from a third party if I'm a Canva Pro user, or click to buy a new domain or claim a free Canva domain. So again, this code for me option is truly a game changer for selling standalone digital products, but also for creating interactive products and tools to be sold with in our courses and programs if you are selling something like that as a product. You'll also have advanced settings when you come to publish settings where you can choose to password protect this website. You can hide it from search engines. So this way, if you're selling this as its own standalone product or even within your course and you wanna make sure that people have to pay to have access to this, you can enable these options to limit access. So now you've got an overview of how to use this new Canva AI feature, but I did wanna give you one extra pro tip for making sure that I'm creating digital products and styles and trends that are going to make it high in demand. And one of those is to do some product and trend research before I ever even start inside of Canva. I'm going to be looking up specifically for graphic design, what is currently trending, what designs and styles and aesthetics are popular. And I have two websites that I love to do this research on. One is Canva's design trends. So if you just Google Canva design trends and then the year, so 2025, it'll bring you to Canva's design trends page where they've got their take on this year's top graphic design trends, including things like shape theory, opulence era, serious fun. You can click on each of these to get a description of what this actually means and to see different templates and graphics that fit within this trend. So you can make sure that you're creating your designs in a way that'll ensure that they're gonna be in demand and popular. The second website is similar, so this is part of Creative Markets website. If you come to creativemarket.com, you can click over here where it says more and then come down to this option that says design trends. And this is their graphic design trends for the year page, which is gonna be similar, but it's giving you Creative Markets take on what things are trending in 2025. And you can scroll through this, check out things like deeply rooted, branding electrified, Type Rebellion, Cozy Academia, lots of different fun ideas here to get some inspiration for what your designs might look like. I hope this gives you a better idea of the many ways you can create digital products to sell using Canva AI. Don't forget to click the link on this page to grab your free digital product starter guide to get your head start on everything you need to know to earn money online selling digital products today. Bye friend.